Hi, I'm Megan Morris from Megan Morris TV, and I am here today with Leslie Heimer, and we're really excited to have her. She's from American Liberty Mortgage, yep. and she is going to debunk some myths that are out there. If you're one of those people that's paying, uh, paying a big payment every month on your house, and you don't think you can qualify to have, a, have your own house, then you're wrong. There is someone out there that can help you, and there yep. are ways to get mortgages that you might not have thought about. So before we get started, I wanted to thank all of you for subscribing to our channel. We appreciate your feedback. We love the interaction, so if you haven't subscribed, please do, and thank you to the rest of you. And here we have Leslie. Yay, well, thank you so much for having me, Megan. I just love you and I love your brand and well, you're such you. a brilliant entrepreneur and the things that you've done and how you've grown your company. So thank I'm you. honored. I'm well, honored to be you. on your show. You. And yeah, lots of lots of myths. You know, the industry is so complex and evolving so rapidly. There's always fun things to talk about and nerd out a little bit when it comes to mortgage <laughs> lending. <laughs> Probably way less sexy than talking about interior design. So um, but yeah, so I am a third generation female mortgage lender. Um, my grandmother was the first female loan officer in the state of Florida. So yeah, I'm very really proud of that. She is such a, a cool lady. Um, and with that comes a lot of experience. Of course. Just seen you've it seen all. It, you've seen it all. Cycles. Yes. And yeah, just like you, you know, ups and downs of this crazy <laughs> industry. Sometimes I think we, we must have a gear loose to <laughs> be doing this job. <laughs> So um, yeah, we, uh, I am the decision maker. Our firm is a national direct lender, so we can hit the button. When it comes time to close, if all the conditions aren't cleared or this one little um, hiccup, you know, we can, we can make it happen. We always that's close really on important. time. Yes. I know that's so important in you right. guys' industry on your side of the fence as right. well. Right. So um, that is a big, a big, you know, value proposition that we're proud of. Right, right. Well, especially with those bridge loans. you want to tell yes, us a little bit about that? Those are so <laughs> great. And I know that my staging partners and uh, listing agents love those. So, you know, the market is crazy right now, right? right. You, you have to be ready to strike at all times. Um, and we have a bridge loan that allows our buyers to be able to buy their new house without selling the old house. Right. So that helps you. Well, it's really, it's, it helps everybody. It's a win-win because then they're able to actually move out of the house. Um, we can get it all repainted and freshened up and, and right. staged properly. And, you know, because it's really hard to oh, sell your so house, stressful. live there when you've got kids, kids and, and dogs and, and, you know, keeping yeah. the house perfect. So it really is a, it's a, it's a great avenue. Yeah. And I think you get, you know, you do get the, your highest amount when you stage Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Yep. It makes That's such great. a difference. And it takes some of that stress factor out of the process for exactly. families. Exactly. So, yeah, we love that. That is is a great option for people, you know, and who most people do have to sell a house before they buy a house. So right, right. We love when we're able to just smooth that little wrinkle right out. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me some of the myths. What are some of the things that people so, think yeah. that they have to yeah, have, to, have to get a loan? What, what people, people think. Right, right, right. And just like you said, Megan, that was such a great point. Um, so many people are paying rent because they think they can't afford a mortgage. Right. One of my favorite things when I do during the day and crunch the numbers to show them, oh, you're paying, you know, $2,000, $1,800 a month for rent. Well, guess what? On your $300,000 new beautiful home, your mortgage payment's only going to be $1,400 or, you know, whatever the crunching numbers work out to be. But right. often your mortgage payment is less than what you'd be paying in rent. Isn't that exciting? It's and so then you get to just makes me so own happy. your own home. American be dream. Be dream <laughs> and pay your mortgage instead of someone right. else's mortgage. So right. we love that. That makes us very happy. So that's a huge myth. You know, if you think you can't afford a mortgage payment right now and you're paying rent, you're wrong. You know, call us and let our team talk through some of those scenarios. Um, the other myth that we often debunk is the credit score. Everybody thinks you have to have a pristine credit history. Lots of rules have opened up in that mm -hmm. way, and they've really changed the algorithms in some of the credit scoring models. So we've been able to, you know, get more folks approved. Student loans count That's less. Big. Yes. Right. Everybody yes. has student loans. I right, mean, right, the student loans one. are astronomical. We won't get into the politics of all that. <laughs> but um, Freddie Mac just came out with a new um, underwriting guideline that has been updated that allows us to calculate the student loan debt at a different default ratio and how that determines what your buying power is. Right. So that that is huge. It really has gone from this handful of people that maybe wouldn't be qualified now can right. be qualified. And, and it's, it's for exciting. the consumer. You know, the the federal regulations are supposed to be there to allow more, you know, folks to be able to buy a home. Right. 
Homeownership wow. is the dream. It is. It is. <laughs> We're such dorks and so passionate about what we do. I Megan's know. like tearing up I over know. here. <laughs> oh, it's so exciting. Wasn't there something you said about um, the past medical bills? Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. I'm so glad that you mentioned that. So one of the new overlays that, you know, everybody also with the changes in health care and some of those complexities that have come along with those um, with that industry, a lot of folks have. Um, you know, collections or medical bills that aren't theirs or they were theirs or the insurance didn't pay it and those no longer are part of our, you know, process when we review your credit. That's, That's great. No you longer that out. Right. It cannot hinder you anymore. It doesn't wow. negatively impact your credit report. So that's that's huge. So there's lots of things, you know. I always just tell my clients and friends and family, let's just look. Like right. let's strategically dig in, roll up our sleeves and really look at, you know, what your options would be. Well, you're a wealth of knowledge and you're so creative and I think it's so important to have a creative partner in this yeah. industry because no nobody's situation is the same. It everybody is. everybody has some That's little so bumps and bruises true. along it's the like way. It's like a snowflake. <laughs> right. Everybody if you've lived a life, a beautiful, right. wonderful, exciting, risk-taking life, you have some stuff, right? <laughs> right. right. Um, but no, it's so true. Sometimes I say it's like the business of snowflakes because there's no one family right. or credit or income or scenario puzzle that's the same so right. it has to be treated with a very case-by-case -case, creative thoughtful intentional approach so it's important yeah. to have a strategic partner nobody fits in a box right you know that's for sure well so what are some of the questions that people ask you I'm sure there's some yeah um, a lot of times you know I always say uh, my husband's from Maryland which is a uh, an organized area where lots of people work for the government or big companies, big corporations. Right. Florida is a very entrepreneurial state. Central right. Florida is really a community with lots of business owners. So business owners have up, you know, ups and downs. We know our, our tax returns look very different right. from year right. to year. Right. And oftentimes we leverage deductions and um, write-offs to our benefit. So we have lots of programs, work with a lot of business owners to show them how we can get around some of those obstacles right so that everybody thinks you know you have to have a w-2 and this much income and this you know um, but that's that's not the case right you know, that's a great <laughs> luckily for those of us who you know don't work a nine to five jobs every day right right so what do you see for 2019 I right, hear you've had so much experience th three generations of of ups and downs and everything in between so what do you what do you think 2019 is gonna bring yeah, for everybody? I mean it's definitely evolving one of the things that we talk about a lot in our office is like some of the deconstruction of the Dodd-Frank movement and some of those crazy regulations that we saw um, you know the rise of after the recession so that has really helped open and loosen some of the underwriting guidelines. Right. So, you know, there are, you know, obviously still some controls in place to make sure there are compliance regulations and we're never, in my opinion, hopefully, um, I hope that we'll never see a time where we'll have a, a recession that's as deep or as long as what we've been through, especially in Florida. Um, but there are some underwriting guidelines that are opening up to help mm -hmm. more homeowners be uh, qualified to buy. So in that vein, I think that that's going to continue. We know we are going to see rates continue to go up. The good thing is that's always a, a sign of a healthy economy. Right. You know, the job market is so strong. The economy is doing great. So, of course, we got to counteract that with a little bit of rate increase. And oh, by sure. the way, they're still in the fives. Like yes. that's great. Yes, you know. Yes, it's a great time to buy. It's a great time to buy. <laughs> There's no cheaper money that you can borrow. Right. Why wouldn't you keep your cash and leverage a mortgage? Mm -hmm. I love the way you put that. And another thing that we say is just be prepared. Call our team. Let us put a plan in place. Look over some things so you're ready to strike when you find the perfect house or when you think the market, your time is to lock in today's interest rate. You definitely want to let us help you. It's easier than most people think. Tell us what you should do. Tell us what, let us tell you what you don't need to do. We can simplify the process and you'll just have the empowering, um, you know, peace of mind to know you're ready. You're ready. Oh, so, yeah. Yeah, those are great tips. Yeah, and we think that, <laughs> you know, I often say that um, maybe maybe on the contrary to some other experts, but I think that we may see some of the market open up and maybe trend more towards a buyer's environment and more um, opportunity for folks to put their house on the market because a lot That's of people know they, you know, the houses are selling for more than they have in a long, long time. So, 
you know, let's see what, what we can make happen. So that's exciting too. It is exciting. Well, gosh, thank you so much for being on the show. Thank You've given you for us having so me. much Oh insight. my gosh, it's always so fun to just be in your, in your presence, oh. in your aura, Megan. You're such a powerhouse. And well, I just thank you. treasure thank you. your friendship. I've and learned a lot. And we, we go you. back a long way. I know, so we've been through some stuff together. <laughs> oh, well, thank you so much. I hope we can have you again another time. Yeah, I'd love that. I'd love that. I won't nerd out next time we can no, like, talk no, about no, fashion or something better. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for joining us today, and we hope to see you again soon. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you do. And thank you for your comments and your feedback, and we'll see you next time.